Go woke, go broke, that's what they say. And Bud Light is just another example of exactly that, right? We've talked about how their sales have been down some 30% every quarter. You find out Bud Light's down, 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 down. Well, that might be turning. Things could be turning for Bud Light. The stock price has started to rally back to where it was before the big incident. And now they're getting the support of a lot of key people, namely, this guy, well, let's, let's show the, the <laughs> this guy, this guy. He writes, the Bud Light ad was a mistake of epic proportions. And for that, a very big price was paid, but Anheuser-Busch is not a whole company, but I can give you plenty that are. I'm building a list and we might just release it for the world to see. Why not? The radical left does it viciously to well-run conservative companies and people. Very nasty, but it's the way they play the game. On the other hand, Anheuser-Busch spends $700 million a year with our great farmers, employs 65,000 Americans, of which 1,500 are veterans, and is a founding corporate partner of Folds of Honor, which provides scholarships for families of fallen service men and women. They've raised $33, $30 million and given 44,000 scholarships. Anheuser-Busch is a great American brand that perhaps deserves a second chance? Question mark. What do you think? Question mark. Perhaps instead we should be going after the companies that are looking, that are looking to destroy America. So he's saying, hey, everyone, Donald Trump, given Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch a very, very, very generous endorsement. It's risky because I suspect a lot of his base feels very strongly that Bud Light did the wrong thing. And they also felt like, hey, this was the one opportunity that we had where we sort of made a difference, right? You know, the, these companies keep picking on conservatives and we've never really had a voice up until now. Suddenly we have this voice and the guy who's sort of the leader of the whole movement is now shooting it down. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. So first of all, he's not wrong. It is a company that is, well, has some woke elements. The question is, is it like Disney? Not so sure about that. Right, I mean, parts of the company may have been the marketing department, obviously, the, you know, the woman that we've seen over and over again, she had her wokeism. You have other members of management in the marketing department that had their wokeism, but in general, is Anheuser-Busch that way? I mean, they still have factories, let's keep in mind, in St. Louis, Missouri. All that said, I hear, I hear conservatives who are like, what the heck, what did you do? All I can say is, they better be, they better be writing a big check. <laughs> I'm sure they are. I mean, I hate to be so cynical, but you know they wrote one to Dana White and the UFC. Do we have that video, Drew, of them walking in? I knew it was like, it was, it, something what, was up when I saw this. You yourself a patriot, right? You're a patriot. How strong that team is. Take a look. So this is Madison Square Garden. Not too long ago, you get Kid Rock, you get Dana White, you get Donald Trump, and you get Tucker Carlson there. So... They get a huge, huge, huge welcome. Dana had just done a deal with Bud Light. Dana did a deal with Bud Light for some hundred plus million dollars. Kid Rock is his buddy. Tucker Carlson is there. They're all buddies, right? And Donald Trump is there. So when I saw that, and then I saw Dana come out, and let's watch what Dana said about how we gotta be nicer to Bud Light. I was like, mm, interesting, watch. I'll tell you what, if you consider yourself a patriot, right? You're a patriot. You should be drinking gallons of Bud Light. Believe me when I tell you. Wait, wait, wait. I should be, boycott I should be boycotting Bud Light. Gallons of Bud Light. You should have Bud Light drums stacked up. Wow. So that tells you a lot. Dana came around. Kid Rock came around, did an interview on Tucker Carlson's show saying he came around. And now the big kahuna has come around. He's asking your opinion on it. But like I said, I mean, there might have been some heavy campaign funds that were donated in order to. I'm just I'm just saying, I don't know, but I'm just saying that was kind of a weird move. What do you guys think? I'm looking at some of your comments here. You have a lot to say on this one, and I get it. I get it. It's like, what is going on? Yeah, Leslie writes, what 100 million bucks will do for you. What do you know? Donald Trump. You know what? He is a politician, and he is a businessman. That's all I'll say. <laughs> He's a politician and a businessman, and somebody got a deal together. 
I mean, hey, Travis Kelsey did a deal. If Travis Kelsey gets a deal, you know, I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't conservatives get a deal too? What do you think? Travis Kelsey got the deal with his commercial. He did, he shot that commercial and, you know, he's, he's, he's shooting these scenes. His brother is anyway, as they go to these camera cutaways with Taylor Swift when they're at a game, like the Buffalo Bills game. And, you know, Bud Light is prominently featured.